Today is Monday, August 2nd, 2021. Welcome to today's daily prayers. Our theme this week is facing life's uncertainties. Let us pray. Almighty God, who always moves with clarity of will and singleness of purpose, help me to live and work with certainty in an uncertain world. Light a lamp before me so that my feet do not stumble. Make my path clear so I may never wander from your chosen way. I pray in the name of Jesus, who comes to make your way clear before our eyes. Amen. Our psalm this week is Psalm 127. Unless it is true light who builds the house, the builder's work is pointless. Unless it is true life who protects the city, the guard on duty is pointless. It is pointless that you get up early and stay up late, eating the bread of hard labor, because God gives sleep to those God loves. No doubt about it, children are a gift from true life. The fruit of the womb is a divine reward. The children born when one is young are like arrows in the hand of a warrior. The person who fills a quiver full with them is truly happy. They won't be ashamed when arguing with their enemies in the gate. Our daily scripture is Isaiah 54, verses 9 through 17. God said, These are like the days of Noah for me, when I promised that Noah's waters would never again cover the earth. Likewise, I promise not to rage against you or rebuke you. The mountains may shift, and the hills may be shaken, but my faithful love won't shift from you, and my covenant of peace won't be shaken, says true life, the one who pities you. Suffering one, storm-tossed, uncomforted, look, I am setting your gemstones in silvery metal and your foundations with sapphires. I will make your towers of rubies and your gates of beryl and all your walls of precious jewels. All your children will be disciples of true life. I will make peace abound for your children. You will be firmly founded in righteousness. You will stay far from oppression because you won't fear far from terror, because it won't come near you. If anyone attacks you, it's none of my doing. Whoever attacks you will fall because of you. Look, I myself created the metal worker who blows the fire of coal and who produces a tool for his work. And I myself created the looter to destroy. No weapon fashioned against you will succeed, and you may condemn every tongue that disputes with you. This is the heritage of true life's servants, whose righteousness comes from me, says true life. This is the word of God for us, the people of God. Thanks be to God. How do you feel when
when you hear these words from God, my faithful love will not shift from you. These words were spoken to the people of Israel centuries ago, yet they comfort us as well. What does it mean to you to hear God say that if someone attacks you, it is not God's doing? Does this match with your understanding of God's sovereignty and of human free will? God promises that no weapon fashioned against us will succeed. We know that many, even many Christians, are killed by human-made weapons every day. How do you understand this promise from God in light of the reality we see all around us? Our reading today comes from Showings by Julian of Norwich. And these words, you will not be overcome, were said very insistently and strongly. For certainty and strength against every tribulation which may come. God did not say you will not be assailed, you will not be belabored, you will not be disquieted. But God said, you will not be overcome. God wants us to pay attention to his words and always to be strong in our certainty, in well-being and in woe. For God loves us and delights in us. Let us pray. God, in a world where violence is celebrated and used in so many evil ways, we cling to your promise to be our refuge and protection. When the violence of this world wounds us, may we turn to you for healing and hope. We pray for those who suffer from gun violence in this nation. May we, as a nation, take responsibility for this evil and work to end it in the power of your Holy Spirit. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who suffer from the weapons of war all around the world. Teach us peace 
and help us to destroy these weapons and replace them with the gift of love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the day when your kingdom is fulfilled on earth, even as it is now in heaven. Until that day, give us hope and help us to work for justice and peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Receive this prayer of benediction. Send me, Lord, as an evangel of hope and security to those whose paths will cross with mine this day. Amen. Go in peace.